Hello everyone, I'd like to share with you a few traits posted on Friday, 17th of February 2023. These traits were shared by HS who is trading Dow Jones Industrial Average in form of CFD using a Forex broker. You see that his 30 minute uh, macro charts uh, broke up and the uh, uptrend channel is forming and you can see the same in a structural five minute charts and the pullback got completed and this wave was traded long so using this uh, one minute trading chart after pullback got completed he entered multiple positions here and you see that all these four positions were closed and managed with exit strategy number one with profit so thank you very much HS, for sharing your trades with us the next trades were shared by Castro, our global instructor, who's trading also Dow Jones Industrial Average. Here he's trading using Forex Broker, the CFD of the uh, futures contract. The price tested this resistance level and going up, and the uptrend channel is emerging. So after completion of pullback at this point, he entered here with tight stop loss and is managing this trade toward the target. The same position was opened on the futures contract in form of micro contract of the YM and you see the same entry and tightest stop loss and now he's managing both positions here on the forex account the live trade is shown here that it just reached the target and here the price is in good area reached the resistance area and he closed it with very good profit and risk to reward ratio. So thank you Castro for sharing your trades with us. The next few trades were shared by Jan, our global instructor, trading Nasdaq futures. As you see, the macro is showing downtrend, but it reached a sideway with range expanding. So it retested the level of support that got rejected and buyers came back. So this uptrend channel here in the structural chart was traded using a 10 second trading chart and you can see the entry and exit that are all long positions taken this channel of the trading chart was traded against the structural chart which is high property trading area the result of this trade was profit factor of two with 60 percent win rate and average win to loss ratio of 1.38 and the largest winning trade was $395 and the largest losing trade was $209. So thank you Yan for sharing your trades with us. Next few trades are those I have taken during the New York market session and the video was sent with explanation to students yesterday. So I'm gonna replay the video for you. Hello everyone. I'd like to share with you a few trades that I have taken on Friday. 17th of February 2023. Uh, these trades were on Nasdaq derivatives, micro and e mini futures. The market from yesterday that was going down went all the way down and passed a few days ago low and almost went to the February 12th low, which was around 12,300. And then couldn't hold this and rejected. So what I did at the beginning was to take a long position on this candle which was going to test 12,420 and long position worked well and but I thought that this level is gonna hold so I started taking setup C here reversal didn't work so these short sides were at loss and again around 10 uh, I went long positions here you see these candles that are going up is forming this channel on the structural one minute chart that was taken so this worked very well on the long side uh, on both Nasdaq and micro Nasdaq that's the uptrend channel from this rejection here so the result was copied by copy trader on multiple apex fund account overall of the day which was okay the profit factor was 1.36 and that's because of 75 percent win rate uh, on average mostly 78 percent from long side and 30 percent win rate from losing short side 
and the average mean to loss ratio was 0.45. Anyway, when the market is very choppy and Fed members speak, we don't recommend novice traders to trade and uh, should stay away from choppy, non-trendy days and news. Hope this trade taken by the PAT system is useful for you and let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day and also weekend.